Okay. This time we're gonna be playing with the Santa spray. Because I feel like kicking some ass. After what happened last time? Yeah. So we need a team. Uh you know what? Let's choose in the Mod Makers fan fiction. So Styles RJ promotes himself shamelessly with characters that can from his fan fiction, Flight of the Osprey, and Charlie in the Flagship Factory. His own personal FTL can. Hmm. Did you say Santa Slay? A very confused mantis comes aboard. No, you idiot! It said Slay! What do I wear even here? And. What did the mantis find? A coal bomb! Another coal bomb! And a dual shot laser! Oh, this is gonna be fun! Especially since this also burns people! Well, this ought to be entertaining. Hand over all your goods, and the, and we'll burn your ship to the ground. Don't you mean or? N I know what I said. <laughs> yeah, that psychologist still has a restraining order on me. Welcome aboard, Manon. Okay, we'll help you out there. Ah, my lips hurt a bit. I just had some uh, popcorn earlier. You know, nice, hot, buttery, salted popcorn, and then it's like a bit of a me in my lips. Assholes roasting on an open fire. They'll regret their life decisions. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. But we got ya. <laughs> Mm. 
No, I guess I don't need to do anything. I literally don't need to do a thing. I don't understand why the rebels would let the auto scouts without shields go into an asteroid field. Like seriously. Even if they're not fighting, you still gotta worry about man. Why are we losing to these guys? Oh yeah, the giant deaf ship. song. It's my favorite out of FTO. to burn the music just like suddenly cut out right <laughs> like at a weird shift that I thought I paused Christmas. Merry Christmas, you <laughs> filthy animal. And a happy new year, too. You know what? I don't care what anyone says. I think Home Alone 2 is alright. I enjoy it. I mean, yeah, it's a rehash of the first one, but at least still entertaining. Plus, I always... Let's face it, you don't watch Home Alone for the story or anything. You're watching for the traps. That's the best part. Nah, who am I kidding? The story is good. Mm, nope. We ain't surrendering. Not to you guys. <laughs> mm, you know what? Sure. We'll have two manti. Mantids. Mantises. We're not having any stupid elves on this trip. Cause, seriously, fuck that. After that last elf, no thank you. <sighs> did I really just do that? <laughs> I really did just do that. Here we go, uh, sailing through the Milky Way. Just going to blast everyone that is in my way. But I'll know what to do. I'll incinerate them to 
who and they'll know that they're facing a monster from the feds and they're gonna all be definitely dead I don't know, I just kind of made that up, but it kind of works. Technically, I don't even know if we are in the Milky Way. Seriously? Another one? I mean, alright! I mean, it's your ships! It's not like these things probably cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to manufacture, program, maintain. I mean, just throw them out there, why not? <laughs> hey, what do you got? Yeah, okay, that'll work. Stronger doors, always nice. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, I'll take that, definitely. Oh, wait. It's a two for one. Yeah, it's got shield piercing, but uh, not gonna work. Hmm. Ah, we can't. We barely. We can't even afford that. Ah, well. This will fix and just get some. Man, we want to give him the Christmas spirit through mind control. So that's it, huh? All right, my turn. <laughs> my turn. Ah, oh, that scene is still awesome. Just comes out in that armor. Gets mowed down by bullets and doesn't even stop, and it's just like, oh yeah. <laughs> I, I am Iron Man. I. Am Iron Man? <laughs> yeah, the Iron Man animated series wasn't that good, but damn it, had an awesome opening. A lot of shows back then definitely had to work hard to make you want to watch them. Having a badass opening definitely helps. Ah, Arthur and the Knights of the Round. Uh, extreme dinosaurs. Of course, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a half shell. Turtle power. They're the world's fiercest fighting team. We're really hip. <laughs> God, I can't even. I, I can't. I, I just. I love there is a line where it's just like, we're really hip. No, really? No. <laughs> now, on the other hand, I, I unironically like the extreme dinosaurs, where their song is basically telling us how extreme they are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am definitely just a big kid. <laughs> uh, it does kind of make me sad because I kind of wish I could redo my childhood a little better. Yeah, hindsight. Hindsight's a bitch. Oh, the things I probably would have done differently. I definitely would have gotten into a lot more fights because fuck the bullies and fuck the the you know zero tolerance policies.
Yeah, but enough, uh, terrible memories and whatnot. To the Zoltan homeworld! And now we will deliver more presents! Well, I am now German Santa! And this is my sidekick, Krampus! If you're naughty, you're going into his sack! Oh, yeah, I forgot the little, uh, little hats. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Three shield piercing shards. Okay, that's worth getting. In fact. Hmm. Yeah, let's get that, because that'll be great for the final fight. I could probably arm myself. Can I? I can arm myself with a burst laser, which... Yeah, definitely a good choice. Yeah, I guess we'll go with that for now. The song Here We Go A Caroling originally was actually called Here We Go A Wasselin'. And you wanna know what wasselin' is? It's basically you go around with a big thing of wassail, you sing, and you offer it to people. Yeah, that's that that's wasselin'. I don't know what wassail is, but I wouldn't wanna have some of it while you're out walking in the dirty streets of London. <sighs> yeah, I can't be sanitary. I'd rather get my own wassail. Wassail, wassail. I don't know why I just like to say wassail. <laughs> Hell yeah, more scrap. Uh, okay, uh, sure, I'll, I'll get rid of these pirates, uh, we're not gonna destroy your ship, but I cannot guarantee that you're gonna be able to get rid of the scorch marks. Just pointing that out. Artillery grows stronger. <laughs> um. 
Sometimes I just want to stretch <laughs> as much as I can, but I'm always scared I'm going to actually pop my <laughs> limbs. That feeling when you just stretch really far in there, you just pull it back. I don't know, I just I like that feeling. Mm. Kind of like when you satisfyingly crack your back or your finger, just like, yeah, you know, that, that bit of satisfaction right after. Yeah. Ah, shit. Here, come on in! Super burning. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll hear you out. I'll keep that for now. It's not like we're gonna use it, but nah, we're not even gonna use it. Ooh, the candy pain. <laughs> Christmas! Stop being assholes! Welcome aboard, Envoy. Uh, Manin, you can fuck off. Hmm. Is that all, huh? Well, all right then. You have chosen <laughs> death. Good choice. Unfortunately, your death will not be quick and painless. It'll be slow and painful. Or slow and extremely painful if you decide to stay in the fire. Otherwise, it'll just be suffocation, which, yeah, that is pretty <laughs> painful. Very messy, too. <laughs> to the Yangi homeworld. Oh, 
Oh, screw that! No, I ain't dealing with giant alien... I ain't dealing with giant alien spiders. Alright, alright, I'll go piss these guys off. Surprise, motherfucker! I could use some help. Help! Ion field because hey, that could actually help us. Because nothing ruins Christmas like ionized particles sabotaging all your electrical appliances. Remember, have your anti ionization shields at the ready on Christmas Eve. You, I, you'll thank me. We're just gonna sign you up for the bounty. Ah, of course it was a trap. Why wouldn't it be? Hey, uh, are your friends fireproof? What? Are your friends fireproof? Well, of course not, you're not fireproof. True, but you don't appear to have any fire weapons. Oh. Yep. <laughs> You pissed off the wrong Santa. I'm, I'm Killer Claws. I'm like that from that one movie that started like a wrestler who was trying to kill people and it was like a curling match in that. That was weird. That was such a weird movie. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, probably shouldn't update grade a hot fight. You know, higher than could not find. That, that seems like a bad idea. Yay, more presents delivered. Yay! Holy crap! What was just floating in space? It's a Rudolph beam! Doesn't do damage, it's good at clearing shields! Ugh. Well. This ought to be fun! <laughs> Mm. On the other hand, it says may have additional effects against the flagship. You know what? I'm going to carry a Christmas present because I want to see what happens. And you know what? I think we're gonna stop using the uh, coal bombs. I think we got a good setup for the final fight. Oh my god. So we got. Well, I guess we can do the quests here and then. Oh. Boosters. <laughs> oh yeah, Christmas barrage, baby. Radical. Yes, continue to deliver the presents. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Game over. Nope. Nope. I don't trust the elves. I don't trust them. Maybe next ship. Yeah, this thing just is gonna break everything, and I don't care. Just like how Jimmy Crack Corns, and I don't care. I don't care, this is overpowered.
Hmm. Yeah, okay, I think I'll keep the one with 30 gives 35. Yes, boost our dodge. Make us unhittable. Okay, this is kind of weird. Kind of, huh. That was odd. Mm, that's not good. Kill you. You're gonna die. You're gonna die, boy. By the power of Rudolph, I love Christmas! Yes, by the power of Rudolph! I love Christmas! Christmas! Do, 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 do. Christmas! Well, uh, I guess we're gonna go into the Slug Nebula. Keep a hold of your wallet. Do not let any of them on our ship. They're slimy and they cannot be trusted. I know that's racist, but you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, I'm racist to uh, slugs. I don't care what anyone says. Fuck the slugs. You could go salt them. <laughs> yeah, I guess I would be assaulting a slug. And that is completely terrible. God, I am really going to hell. Okay, look at that. We got a great setup for the fight. What I want to do is just get through this nebula. Ah, shit. See, this is why you can't trust slugs.
But would you listen? No! I'm a racist! No, I'm not gonna accept surrender. You're on the naughty list! Therefore, I kill you. Hmm. All right, what's wrong? Fine, I will pay off their debt. Merry Christmas and go fuck yourself, slugs. Yeah, nice try. I guess we can see what's at the store. Ooh, we'll take that. And... Well, I don't really have the power, so we can't really use hacking, so whatever. Probably should've gotten repairs, but bleh! We're gonna get repairs. Onward to deliver Christmas joy! Santa Claus is coming to town, baby! Nope, we're not gonna fight. We're just gonna... Move, move, move! Well, there's a store, so why not? Yeah, I guess we're getting a backup battery. Which means I guess I, I can use that. <sighs> it's a beautiful day. Well, actually, it's not even a day. It's a beautiful night tonight. <laughs> Children are sleeping. They're all dreaming. But guess what? Rebels like you belong on the naughty list. <laughs> So, today's Megalovania is called Not Even a Card, a Christmas Megalovania by Johnny Potato. Enjoy.
Sorry that the song had to end, but yeah. A good Christmas Megalovania, I gotta say, but... And also, another fun run. <sighs> Always nice to play with these ships. Even if they can get overpowered at times. Like, seriously, that Rudolph beam. <laughs> that was the MVP. <laughs> Well, as always, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope you have a great holiday, and I don't know. Keep your eye on shields ready, because seriously, those will save you. Night!